right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they give a back-to-back update on how things they be or how it is the shell for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too so that you'll be able to get our news anytime we will drop on bojum you'll be among the first set of people that would also get our news it's asap all right my wonderful people um also remember to like and share this news to people around you okay my people let us one with the boss head right now we say asari dokubo <laughs> my people uh, you know as this particular man asari dokubo don't de misbehave a whole lot of times and now he don't boss for the area as uh, he don't run as nigerian army said to attack him and his niger delta militants you know as this particular man he be like saying i in the trend and at the same time, don't come in just the misbehave. I, I, I don't know the kind of man this particular um, Asari Dokubo is or the kind of things he thinks that he will be able to do and uh, so on and so forth. The man has been um, very, 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 very weird. I would say that uh, the man has been misbehaving a lot and has been saying a whole lot of things that will get him into trouble. And uh, this particular point. You don't talk the one way go actually put them for a while as a uh, gas run away. <laughs> in gas tear rates as a uh, don't go cause for Allah for where you know suppose chuck him out. You don't go chuck him out for where you know suppose chuck him out. And you don't bust for in area and on that one. This particular man we <laughs> you get some people who actually they very confused in life. Sometimes him being toxic, him being evil people, he don't join evil, say he don't confess. Say him that he's an evil person. That he will not do it, that that he should uh, that Igbo people should accept him all of a sudden. He turned around again to come and start saying a whole lot of things. I just feel like this man is a very, very um manipulative man that does not have anything. He does not have an aim with anything. But of course, uh, whenever it comes to the um the Nigerian army or the federal government, once they find out that you are not in support or you are someone that is completely looking towards doing an opposite of whatever it is. That their aim has been throughout the whole time that means uh, you are actually touching the wrong tail and you are going to actually go down for it that is the truth of the matter and one thing concerning these whole people that we ourselves should have in mind is that uh, if you mess up you must collect and that is the truth of the matter no matter what you claim that you are or no claim that you do at the end if you if you make mistake and and and, and mess up around them even if you were once someone that uh, was supporting them look at your higher below as he has been turned into someone that is now being chased around. You see that they have abandoned him and then they are tagging him, someone that is wanted. And then uh, the whole lot of um, issues that uh, happen all around him. Um, they're telling you right now that I feel like that is the situation of this man, Asari Dukubu, who will surely meet his Waterloo. As this particular man has caused a whole lot of, said a whole lot of rubbish towards the Igbo people. He has uh, said a whole lot of rubbish towards the Biafra movement. He has caused a whole lot of havoc, talked rubbish. And uh, even put the country, this kind of some is taken to deeper, deeper issues than it already is. And uh, I feel like uh, his time is coming to an end. All these kind of people, where they always make this kind of talks, where they always misbehave like this. Once their time is coming, you go begin to see say their time don't they reach. And at that point, now you will come understand say twenty walk <laughs> because these kind of people know they last they know they too last because uh, they don't they would always find they would one way or another suffer for that particular thing they've done they will suffer for that uh, issue or suffer for whatever thing they have actually committed and uh, that is the truth of the matter whenever it comes to things like this i feel like we um Bia france should always have in mind that that is why the nigerian government cannot give up on actually bringing down the biafra movement or sending people to finland to bring down BMBRGIE Simon Eber. I believe that even up to this point, they are still looking for ways to bring him down, just like they were always looking for ways to bring down Mazinam the Khan until they finally found some saboteurs that would be able to like betray Mazinam the Khan and then leak his location to them. I believe this is the truth of the matter. I believe this is the, the key thing or the, the, the main thing that has been happening ever since. But at this particular point, it is impossible to happen to um, Mazi Simon Eba. Mazi Simon Eba, PM, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. It is not possible to happen with him because, of course, he is right to where he wants to be and exactly where he needs to be. 
And at that particular point, I believe uh, it's something that we should always have in mind. I believe it's something that uh, we should um, we should have in our minds because uh, one way or another, we are going to succeed in this particular thing. We decided to put our hands into. We decided to put our heads into. We will survive. Nothing is going to. Yes, we can do that. We can expose. We can. Uh, 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 we can wake up in the morning and expose or talk about anything we want to say because they are in charge of the media. Of course, that is what they will do. That is what they will do. Right now, we are still getting more more talks concerning how they they uh, uh, gone down some the, the the Biafran army or the the, the Nigerian soldiers gone down a, a set of Biafran soldiers. All lies. There are a lot of things you will see on social media today and you will begin to think that maybe this thing is true. Against us, it is 99.9%, if not 100% of those lies, of, of those news, is not true. It's not true. My people look at the latest one that I'm seeing right now that is part of completely that lie. It says, troops destroy IPOP ESN command headquarters. And then there is a picture of uh, a whole lot of ammunition, phones, uh, uh, so many other things that they kept here, saying that uh, they were the ones. And they said that they cleared in quotes and destroyed an alleged supreme headquarters. It's not possible. They are not capable of doing that. These people are not up to the standard of the Biafra Liberation Army to even find and spot and bring down the whole headquarters of the Biafra Liberation Army. It is not possible. And that is what... And that is what that is what I am here to say. None of it is possible. This propaganda has gone on a whole lot of time. And thank God, the PM has come out and declared that this particular talk, this particular issue that he's seeing right now, or this particular talk concerning uh, us not uh, having enough ammunition or whatever it is, is not possible. They are not able to contain us. They cannot contain what we are able to do. They, they are not fit to contain what the Biafra Liberation Army can do. With our alliances at this moment, with our PM currently in Canada for the conference he has promised, he said that will take place, that we are getting prepared for at the moment. With everything that is going on right now, it is not possible. It is not, ce n'est pas possible. We are in the French. It is not, it's not possible at all. And so my people, I want to let you know that a whole lot of news you pick up from out there concerning anything concerning the iPod, I want to focus on the, the, the Biafra Liberation Army Movement. Anything concerning the Biafra Liberation Army Movement, anything concerning uh, the Biafra Army go being gone down. I want to focus on that because a whole lot of news that they give to the public is most of it is fake. But this one that concerns our movement, our movement, I want to let you know that it is completely fake and we are not, we did not lose, we did not lose 20 men on that day that there was a gunfire. That was a gun battle, rather. We did not lose that amount, and that will always be steadfast. That's the main thing. The Biafran Liberation Army are always ready. We are not to be left. There is no day that the, the, the Biafran Liberation Army is not alert, alerted about anything concerning that is happening around them. So that they would always be ready for when these people, in quotes, Nigerian terrorists, comes up to come and hit or to do whatever it is they want to claim that might be a surprise attack. It's not possible. We cannot be allowed to be spoiled just that way. And so that is... And so, my people, none of these things can be scheduled and can say it will take place at any point in time because we are ever ready to go against these people. We have sectors, we have informations. You, you, you ask about how we know. Some of you wonder, rather, about how we get to know about informations that, uh, that are far off or you say that are far-fetched, but then we have people every single way, every single place. Because we have people that are steadily engaged in making sure that the Biafra movement would move. That there is always a move and a step would make every single day. There are people, a lot of people. We have thousands, if not millions of people ready at any point in time. Around the whole world, giving information whenever they get them. Every single person. There are a lot of people that are involved. If you're not working right now, if you're not, you're not giving information or whatever, then that's on you. But we have people that are giving valid information, resources, every single way. So we know there is always information, key, legit, legal information, whenever it comes. And that is how we know the things that are going on in 
wherever we are that concerns the IPO movement, that concerns the Biafra movement, the Biafra, that concerns this movement that would see to our that would see to our our referendum, to our freedom from these people that have refused to let us go. So yes, my people, this is where we've come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications soon. Thank you.